how straight this road is. Puente Baluarte. Yo, open the hood. I have no idea what's happening. This is the long tunnel. Jesus, oh! Maybe because of that truck. Checkpoint. DWB. Keep you posted. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, and I'm coming to you from Monterrey, Mexico. We're just loading up the Ranger. Raf, Raf is he in there? He's just waking up. But we are about to do our cross-country road trip across Mexico from Monterrey, Mexico, all the way over to Mazatlan, and enjoy some beaches, some beers, and some big. But we are going to have some fun. Um, I cannot wait. First vacation vacation i've had in like well probably since the craziness of the world falling apart started but uh, i got the mexico driven hard merch going on and uh, we're just waiting for a couple more people to come out then we're going to pick up the sisters the test for this trip we are going to compete two vehicles head to head in one of the most important things ever gas mileage we're going to see how my range rover sport good old supercharged v8 five liter competes against a toyota prius let's see how many gas fill-ups i'm gonna have to do huh all right guys i just reset my trip counter it's all at zero let me go check out what the prius is doing all right guys um shoot i don't know how to work toyota where would it be where would it be mode nope trip there we go okay We've zeroed out their trip counter. All right, let's go. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was going through the trip computer on the Prius, it said remaining fuel was 700 in about 40 kilometers. That's 200 kilometers more than me. So we are at a quick rest stop here in, well, it's like the middle of nowhere, essentially. But Oxo, but check out the scenery, guys. Check check this out. The vast openness of Mexico, mind the truck. But, uh, right? We are literally in the middle of nowhere. We got some people chilling over there at home, right? Doing, doing their thing. But now it's been cool. Four, three or four tolls so far. And it's funny, I was still there, yeah. This last toll was 140 pesos. The highway seems to deteriorate. It started off super smooth. We're making some great speed, but 160 or so um, kilometers an hour. But now the highway started to deteriorate if the tolls get more expensive. But uh, I'm enjoying it. This is awesome. We are gonna be approaching a very famous bridge. It was one of the tallest bridges in the world and a, a, a tunnel that's four kilometers long. Um, that's not for another like few hours, but uh, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments what you think and uh, well, let's hit the road.
Yo, open the hood. There is no way in hell this is a freaking high. This must this must be like a modified freaking Prius, right? Because there's no way this car can go that fast. Holy crap! It's not it's not like a freaking supercharged V8 under here. I'm just so surprised that this thing can go that fast. <laughs> so we are at a rest stop, 500 kilometers away from Mazatlan. We're making incredible time, like absolutely insane. I thought we were gonna be there like around eight, nine o'clock. We're gonna be arriving around 3 p.m., four at the very latest. Absolute incredible time, but a uh, little Mexican rest stop here. The two beasts, the Rover versus the Prius. Um, it's been a blast so far. Absolutely gorgeous weather, huh? Look at this. Just wicked. All right, guys, so little uh, update here on the fuel economy. So we've got 344 kilometers, averaging 15.2. Let's check out. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. <laughs> Let's check out where we're at with the Prius. Um, is that trip button okay we are averaging 8.7 liters per kilometer okay that, yeah 8.7 liters per kilometer so i'm doing 15 liters per kilometer on average right now and the prius is doing eight <laughs> damn <laughs> 15 point something liters per 100 kilometers so far it's the fuel economy average on the Range Rover. The Prius is at eight. So what is that? Half. It's doing, it's using half as much fuel right now. And we booking it. Like we, this is, we're, we're going about 100, there, like there's some long stretches where we're doing about 180, 190 kilometers an hour for like half an hour straight. We are making absolutely incredible time right now. Yeah, so we hit something. I don't know what it is, but we hit something. Durango coming up. The home of the Dodge Durango. It's just a crappy car, sweetie, don't worry. <laughs> Mazatlan. Right, guys that's it she's empty 400 and something change on that tank uh we are pretty much just over halfway to mazalan making incredible time we might get there closer to 1 1 to 2 p.m um we're just great speed fantastic highway so far um and very little brakes uh except for my extra small bladder so Look at this weather though, I cannot wait for this. Loving this new hoodie because it's nice and thin, so I'm not getting too hot in this. But, uh, you know, I think they're just filling up, so I don't feel so bad. All right, a little break. Hey buddy, how you doing? Hey. Hello? Raph? Go ahead, bud. Look at this gorgeous scenery here. Loving this, right? Pits. One thing I've learned is you never let anyone, you don't leave your car unattended here in Mexico. And one of the things they do at the gas stations is they overfill your tank all the time. And so what happens is they overfill it and then gas drips out. And that's just, just not good. And so I you know, had them hose it down a little bit, but what are you crying about? I want to stretch. You want to stretch? All right, let me get you out. And you know, one thing you do here is you tip for everything. And yeah, usually you, you give a few paces to the gas station attendants. <laughs> Marianne was trying to have me some paces. He's like, no, no, he shook my hand. He's like, no, 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 he spilled gas all over my car. He's not getting a tip, but you know. <laughs> There's the blows.
checkpoint. DWB. Keep you posted. I'm just gonna say they didn't get stopped. Only the black man got stopped. <laughs> All right, 174 kilometers to Mazatlan. A uh, quick bathroom break here, but uh, man, oh man. Check out the scenery, right? We got trees, no more desert. We're approaching the coast. So it's getting green, it's getting gorgeous. The desert's gorgeous, but this is a different kind of gorgeous. But that's feeling great. Hola, papi. Hi, hi. And um, yeah, this is, this is great. Checkpoint. I was wondering how long was it going to take the police to give me a DWB, right? Driving while black. And uh, at one of the tolls, it's like 10 tolls we've gone through. A lot of tolls. But uh, at one of them, they uh, pull over. You know, we, we, we need to check you. They just got my papers. Really, I it's more of checking to make sure the car has an actual permit. Because you can only drive 25 kilometers south of the border. Um, in this part of Mexico without having a permit. Any further than that, you have to have an actual uh, permit. Um, and that's what I have, of course. So sometimes they just check the paperwork, um, hoping that you don't have it so I could pay for their lunch or dinner or whatever the case is. But, to Mazatland. Why do you have to keep your lights on in the tunnel? Yeah. Yeah. That semi pass in that car, that other oh, semi. Yeah. Jesus, oh! oh my God. You got that? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if it's from too far away, For a treat, you're in for a treat. Say hi to family. Hey, hi. Abby, turn around. Abby, Abby, hi, Abby. Sun. Oh, check this out. This is Puente Baluarte. Puente Baluarte. Baluarte. And it's what it's what is it? It's it used to be one of the tallest bridges in the world. Es uno de los más altos. The biggest. Uh, yeah. Wow. Más altos. Highest. It's nice. And then when's the big tunnel? Five or four kilometers. Four or five kilometers long. There's a tunnel coming up here somewhere through these mountains, but some of these roads are incredible. Absolutely amazing. Some of them are scary as hell. <laughs> Are in 
I don't know the name of it, but this tunnel, it's 2,700 meters long. So that's about, what, almost three kilometers uh, long. This is probably the longest tunnel I've ever been on. It's, uh, like, it's cool. You look down here, all you see is, like, look, you just see tunnel and tunnel and tunnel and tunnel and tunnel. So cool, so cool. All right guys, 30 minutes out from Mazalan. I cannot wait to jump in the ocean to no, honestly, that's the first thing I want to do. I'm going to jump in the ocean. I'm probably going to take all y'all with me. But check out, I want you to see the brake dust. I'm not sure what my voice monitor details put on the rims, but whatever they put on, check out the reaction. It's, I guess, it's probably some sort of coating um, because the brake dust, well, look at that. Check out how the brake dust is forming, right? Like, so it looks like it is like some sort of protective coating. Maybe, I don't know. This is all hearsay. Maybe they did nothing and I'm calling them out for nothing, even though they're my boys, so I'm not calling them out. But like, it's just, it's so interesting what's happening here. Or it's it's something else um, that I got on the, I have no idea what's happening, but that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Any idea on what you think might be causing that? And it's weird because the back is also getting where I never see brake dust, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's strange. Like, let's take a closer look. Yeah, like, that's total, that, yeah, that's just brake dust. But it's so weird how it's forming like that. Weird, strange. Oh, hey guys, look at that. It's gone now. Look, Mazaland, ocean. It's like a hazy day today in Mazaland. The Rio, we're gonna be living here for a couple of days. A couple of days. Oh, yeah. It's literally six six days, I think, we're here. But yes, man, that was absolutely fantastic. Road trip yeah. in New Mexico is definitely something else. Ah, uh, these are these taxi thingies I remember from when I was here last. Yeah. Uh, so let's get some footage on the inside, huh? I've been sitting here trying to figure out how to how to film an, an, an epic ending to what I hope turned out to be an amazing vlog. You can see, I'm just walking out to the ocean. This is the first thing I did. I haven't even taken my clothes off. Just my t-shirt and my shorts. Absolutely loving this. This was worth it so much. Check out this amazing view we got here. I wish you guys were here driving the Range Rover across Mexico to the beach, even looking at my keys in the resort in the hotel room. I don't know. There's just something badass about it. Can I get some sick beach shots of, of, of me driving along the beach? Obviously not in the hotel zone, but I am going to try. Look, I am going to try to hook up with some locals some locals to see if I can get some absolute epic stuff done here guys but um, I appreciate you if you made it this far in the vlog this is amazing this is just absolutely heaven you know what 
Hopefully I don't wreck my phone. But guys, this is just that happened. Come on. Till next time everybody, love me doing what you are driving hard.